the rest of the world takes the Mormons to school. I'm Melton, son of a carpenter and Mary. And the Latter day Sin is the Mormons just cost a whole lot of folks, including the military streets, a lot of pain. Remember, it's our fun fiction, so you can play along. They just had a tearful worker who stole 25 bucks from me call up and tell me she's too sick to take me to get food in the middle of starting this parable. So you know how that goes on the streets. It's our fun fiction. Of that group that just cried on the phone. Indian probably. You know what that uh, handles the phones a lot. We'll be balancing whatever is on hand in person. Isn't calling back up right now to say I'll be right there. I don't, uh, I don't know why I was thinking I was sick. Promise from the one and only. <clears throat> You're going to see a lot of pain today in Eagle Rock and Joey. Uh, Joe's uh, the son won't be in boot camp today. You know I'm the biggest supporter of the military. This isn't the military, it's the streets. The unseen business. So as they take food out of the one and only member of Jesus' Immaculate House here on earth, out of our belly, every man, woman, and child who will live in Jesus' Immaculate House, Joey's going to pay the price because Joe didn't teach him how to be an adequate member of the military street. Now let me get to my parable. As you get some popcorn. Some college kids are watching a, uh, a video. And, oh no, it's not one of mine. And Jack says, what's that? It's a, a video made with a phone. And Gwen says, well, it's a... Uh, in Salt Lake City, Utah, how they train their uh, Utahian missionaries to go out, and I know they're not uh, they're knocking on doors. Employees like uh, offering to help you as uh, a way to get a foot in the door. Can I help you do anything today? Uh, or uh, yeah, knocking on the door at dinner time. If you feed somebody, you feel kind of a uh, connection to them. It's not one of those sales ploys, it's one of those uh, after they get the foot in the door. Uh, classes. Yeah, they're discussing what's antique and what's junk. How to spot it. In a little old lady's house or a little old uh, man's house. So you can move on to the next one if you broke. Meanwhile, You see, the Mormons are the Latter-day Sinners. Uh, funny, uh, bizarre looking, 260. But they're, as they come in waves and waves, to be the annoyance next door, that is Spectrum's active participation. Remember when they knock on the door. Check in post in 5, 424-229-4140 from a Spectrum. They can reach me by phone. They just raised the price 20 bucks. For their internet that I use, and I'm trying to find other places and experience difficulties with Spectrum's internet in doing that. And that's right on cue with that uh, discussion. It means they're hanging on me every word, and I know some folks uh, handling Joe and Joey are. They're distracting for the Mormons. More than likely, those Utahnians that get those classes. Uh, Spot and junk and uh, antiques. But where was the? Oh yeah, you hand these things out. I don't think that was where it was. But at least uh, hand those out when you see the Mormons praying on your neighborhoods. P R E Y I N G. I'm gonna show you some of my cards so I can cut them up. When you see them praying on your neighbor, I think this is last month or January 2018. You walk up your neighbor especially for little old ladies. Uh, let them know. We're trying to get them to write 
us off their sales route. Oh yeah, that was it. The um, they are absolutely certain those coming into have a lot of folks next for Spectrum for the moment, for the day. Have them on the patio or literally the Muslim guy with the beard from downstairs. Passing himself off as management. Beating, literally beating on the door to intimidate not just me, but the rest of the apartment complex. Thus the Muslims, their sister faith being uh, incredibly... Uh, Bizarrely, a worried about the one and only working alone. Come, uh, give them something to worry about. Tear down the great wall of evil. Let's have a thousand disciples going up from around me worldwide. So I don't have to spend half the damn day simply because they're doing something bizarrely obvious on the screen. Removing an image, uh, moving guidelines on my GIMP. Uh, so I have to spend 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. I can't get anything else done but design my imagery because, yes, yeah, the Chinese assholes with their Mormon pot people and their Muslim pot people and their military pot people. They can't do what they're supposed to do on the military streets. Come take them out so uh, I can get some stuff done. One man working alone. Well, let me get to, I want to get it at least close to 10 minutes. I've explained why uh, military streets are going to be making a, being made an example of. Like I've said many times before, we can't have you in missile silo. It's our fun fixing. Play along. We can't have you supplying folks to military missile silos. If you can't control damn pot people, would you put yourselves in our shoes? Would you? Yeah, we can't have that. As you see, the uh, comical military streets managing uh, Trump expelling uh, all those Russian uh, uh, diplomats to dissuade that rumor or dispel that rumor. Uh, it's very readable. It's just a, yes, high-tech toys at play. To dispel that rumor that uh, Putin uh, bosses Trump around, and man, is Putin going to be mad about that? Okay, uh, enough of the mean stuff. You get the point. Uh, it's unreal. And now I planned out the day uh, to get that done, and uh, I can't tell you. My whole... Uh, one man working alone routine is all. But back to a, a point other than the the video, the college folks are passing around of Mormons. Oh, it makes it, you can make it with a phone. How they train their uh, young to go out and steal from the world. And you can't reach me right now to uh, tell me what you believe, to ask me what I mean by Jesus is Immaculate House here on earth. Yeah, that's the Mormons stealing from you. They can reach me by phone. They're an active part of what place someone named Hussein in the highest office in the world right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Hussein. They had that rich Romney guy. How do you get rich? Yeah, lots of little old ladies. All across America, all across the world. They had that Rich Romney guy part of the forest elections there. And you can't reach me. Tell me what I should vote for, who I should vote for. You, you get that boring thing, that phone ringing, that error message. That busy signal. Next time you're calling up countless other voters or customers, if you're not in politics, the pol political business. Next time you're calling up them and you get that phone ringing. That error message, that business over you get, leave a message, they can't get back to you, they don't get it. That's the Mormons with what their active parts in, stealing from you. Make a video, most importantly, it's your high-tech lifeline, the 
uh, news media isn't covering. They're doing the Osama PR campaign, the Middle East PR campaign. Something I've heard or is going on on college campuses across America, uh, spotting the Middle East PR campaign being obvious as anything in American pop culture, in American news. That yoga instructor that uh, is a tough teacher has to be in his neck of the woods shooting that rifle and instructing his followers in a calm, peaceful way when we all know what exactly the, the animal is, uh, is about. The bloodthirsty killer. I'm sure there are a lot of good animals out there. Let's put it that way. Spot the Osama PR campaign in your neck of the woods. You know, talk about it. Say this is what's going on. We need to change Hollywood. We need sure need to change the news media. Now, uh, elsewhere other than that class, uh, oh, I'll hurry up, Bill admit it. Andy. An elderly man is uh, talking with a couple of uh, Mormon missionaries in his home, and they ask if they can help. He said, I sure could use a, a, some food. I sure could use some food or uh, this or that. Uh, whatever he needs, it's a sense of to him. I don't have time to come up with it. And uh, they said, well, sure, you just give us the money and we'll go. And he checks his wallet and doesn't have it. And Andy's not that old, is it? but the house is. It's from the Great Depression when they didn't trust the banks. And, or, they had a lot of problem with the banks, and he's got this big walk-in safe. So he goes over, and, oh, they're men of faith, so he's not even... He tries to remember that... Uh, that combination then comes up with it, calls it out because Andy's the next cop and uh, he is uh, taking the Mormons to school cross country just like the uh, college folks are, the college uh, students are. And yeah, he tells about how he's got to go visit his, uh, his brother-in-law a couple states over at this certain time, and yes, uh, you guessed it. The cops tired of uh, all the trouble that they can't do anything about. They're Mormons. In their town, they're going to be staking out because uh, the ones that they don't put up front in the pews or the introduced uh, even at the church, uh, the fraud of the faith temples and the churches, but they Uh, might be giving uh, Andy a call, and then we're, they're going to try to uh, that and that PR campaign of the cops in that particular town. You call the students as well. Wallpapering the neighborhoods that the Mormons are praying. If you get everyone in your neighborhood trying to call me, they can reach me by phone. They show up on the caller ID. Go to youtube.com slash DNFD series. Check it out. It says missionaries. It says Mormon missionaries. I don't know. It's been a while since I looked. But it's on a little red phone. I had before I went in the hospital. Lost 80 pounds. Yeah, part of growing a new body. The genetic carpentry. That kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, they can reach me by phone. You can't reach me and get an image that will drive folks into your business. Yeah, that's some woman stealing from you right now. They're active participants in America's high tech lifeline. And, uh, yes, the next time you call up countless other customers besides the uh, handsome ball guy here. And you get that phone ring or miss a business sale. That's the Mormons, active participants in stealing from your livelihood every day. And I got news for you. It hasn't been news. Me asking for a flight 93 chick for nine years, the entire Hussein administration. Oh, I saw his bad taste place in someone named Hussein, the highest office in the world. Right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Husseins, I thought it was bad taste. Uh, it's not bad. It, we don't go by bad taste or the fact that Obama grew up in Africa to be closer to his dad during those formative years. Oh yeah. I put that, uh, put two photos of 
Osama and Obama right next to each other and check out the eyes and oh come on it's 2018 guys don't be a hater check it out and you will see what I see sister uh, fraud of the face work in two different ways politically correct placed Hussein that's what the Mormons are in the highest office in the land right we got attacked by a whole lot of angry violent deadly Husseins and the angry violent deadly Husseins are the violent uh, sister fraud of the face so make that video whatever you get and yeah all good cops you conduct those things you know what's going on you know what those people are and meanwhile across town uh, in that particular town uh, a couple of church princesses Sarah and Rebecca they're talking with uh, a Greta an elderly lady and she excused herself to go to the bathroom and oh like a coordinated uh, a sports team or something they jump up from that couch and they're taking photos of everything in that building yeah they were sleeping during that uh, antique versus uh, modern versus junk antique versus junk thing so they're going to take it back to uh, someone who knows back at that particular fraud of faith that the cops are trying to shut down you get the whole damn town trying to call me Oh, excuse my language. I know we got some two believers out there. You get the whole town trying to call me Melton in front of those fraud of faith missionaries, the Mormons, Latter day Sinners, LDS, Pride of the Town. Yeah, they'll write you off their sales route altogether. They'll close down that fraud of faith temple, that fraud of faith uh, church. Do that. Come see me. Have wit, we'll travel. Take me up to get some food. Tell me where to build Jesus as a Maclite house here on earth. Best place to build. Uh, a place to inspire the future and the present to greatness with. Come see me. In person, let's get started. Remember to wallpaper. Oh, I'm not going to, I didn't even have the right ones. Distracted by the hatred of uh, my worker in conjunction with the Mormons. Oh, they're, they're Semper Fi. You'll find these all. Well, I think you, I showed you the uh, for the thousand crimes they commit. And, uh, well, here they ask some of the, the cops out here about the parables of the handsome ball guy. And uh, they tell them, uh, we get worse than that on a traffic stop. He speaks truth. Come see me. Have wood, wood travel. Show me the perfect place to build. Jesus is a house here on earth. And make sure you put that prop of hay. That's absolutely certain. I finished that. Absolutely certain that they know better how and these yokels here in Los Angeles have stopped one and only so they have their uh, The spectrum folks that are there is uh, making noise in bizarre fashion and Yeah, I get angry and I not make sense I think I make a whole lot of sense make those videos and conduct those classes of your own on how to get rid of the Mormons in your neck of the woods truth always a good way check your post and pipe in front of them ask them how do you reach mountain by phone why else would my phone not be allowed to work because of what you're actively taking a part in america censored lifelines hijacked lifelines post 